did you have that in mind when you came here? Yes, sir. I mean, I mean, it's everybody's dream to start at LSU, uh, but I don't think that changes anything for me. I'm just, I'm just lucky to be able to pitch. You know. What went, what went to your decision to come to LSU and sort of pass the draft and all that sort of good stuff? Yeah, I mean, during the draft process, um, you know, my financial wants with the draft weren't met with the GMs and everything. So, I mean, that led me to come to college, and you know, it was definitely a goal come to LSU. So. Sorry, I don't know a lot about you. Kind of tell me. Style, I guess, what works yeah. for you, what your mindset is when you get up there. Kind of describe your game. You okay. Know. I mean, I'm really big on two seam. Um, you know, my two seam sinks well, and it, you know, I still maintain velocity with my two seam, so I think that's my best pitch. And then I pair it well with the slider, kind of get like opposite action out of both. And then I ha also have a changeup that plays really well off of that. And I also have a four seam that rides uh, up in the zone. So. so attack and then kind of catch them off guard. Yeah. For sure. What's it been like working with Wes? Oh, it's been awesome. I mean, I'm very like fortunate for all my past, you know, people people that try to help me with pitching and everything. But this has kind of been like the only real pitching coach I've ever had. So, I mean, just to get the opportunity, finally work with somebody, you know, just took my game to the next level for sure. What are your thoughts on just this? You know, I mean, I don't know that you've ever done this before. Yeah. And, you know, Sunday. Uh, yeah. what, what's expected for you? You know, I mean, it's it's kind of a big deal here. How, yeah. How much do you like that and welcome that? I think it's awesome. I mean, obviously, I'm a little nervous, but uh, you know, it's it's something I got to get used to, and you know, I'm just fortunate to be in this position, and I'm just trying to take everything in for sure. Hard hitting question here: What made you choose ice cream paint job as you walk outside? <laughs> uh, funny story. Back in high school last year, one of my friends had that walk up song, so and every time I heard it, it would just get me pumped up, and you know, I finally had the chance to you know change my walk up song this year, so I had to go with that one. What did it used to be? Um. Still Dre, yeah, by Dr. Dre, so. Uh, Paul Skeens, what would you say about him leading this thing off tomorrow? I mean, I, I feel, I think everybody feels really comfortable with him. Um, you know, he's been a great mentor to me, and I try to model my game after him in a way, so just, it's it's just great having him around as a teammate, and he's just, he's even a better person, so. And the competition around you, I mean, guys like Thatcher Hurd and others figure to start at some time where he's pushing you guys, right? Oh yeah, I mean, it, it's, I say with the whole team, it's just great being around other great players and, you know, just, it, it makes each of us better every day, so. Like that? Yeah, again. <clears throat> um, what I've always wanted for myself is to be a starter. That's always been my goal. And um, basically, he just told me to keep doing what I'm doing and I've continued to work with Wes to get in shape and be able to last in those innings to be a starter, so. That's what we've been working on this whole year, and yeah, that's what I've been doing. How you feel? Great, yeah, the best I've felt. Durability? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it feels really good. They've been extending me a little bit in inner squads and stuff, so I'm ready to go the distance. What, what were those things that you worked with Wes in terms of, you know, lengthening, lengthening out, being able to go four, five, six innings? Um, in the fall, it was a, a lot of sleds. <laughs> we had all of us doing that, so uh, just always conditioning and working out and stuff. And then, yeah, like in the inner squads, just extending myself to three, four innings. And just go in there. Did you have to change up your pitch sequencing at all, and how you sort of thought about, you know, just the, the decisions you made on the mound? Um, just Better. a little bit. Uh, he uh, has a different way of calling it that I really like, and it's been really effective. And just yeah. pitching to righties and lefties and being effective on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, what do you feel like you tightened up in the offseason? Um, kind of just more of my fastball placement. I've always just been like a low fastball guy, but the numbers that I've been putting up show that I can throw up in the zone. So that's been working with me for right-handers. How much mentally is it um, a weight, or is it a weight off of you to, to realize, hey, I don't, I know what game I'm going to play in, you know, this weekend because I'm, I'm going to start this one. I'm not going to be called upon at any point in time. Yeah, it's kind of weird because, uh, like tomorrow, for example, like I have the mindset like I'm pitching even though I'm not, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I've got to get used to that, I guess. But yeah, I was like I'm fired up for tomorrow even though I'm not throwing. <laughs> it's kind of weird for me. Are you charting tomorrow? Um, maybe, <laughs> probably. <laughs> did, did, did you did you start at all in high school? Like, what's your sort of your background experience just as a starter and as a player? Um, yeah, basically my whole life I was a starter, and these last two years were the first times I've ever been a reliever, so that was really new to me. And then I was getting used to it, and so <laughs> switch back to starting. You gonna break out the knuckleball? Yeah. Knuckle ball? Um, <laughs> if if it calls for it, I might. <laughs>
for real? I mean, is it in any pitch sequence that you have? Um, yeah, it's definitely my fifth pitch, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just more nervous to do it than anything. But we've been working. I've thrown it a couple times in the fall, inter squads and stuff, and it's looking pretty good. <laughs> what about this team? Uh, you've been a part of two different teams now, obviously, and, then, and not a lot of them are made up like this. You know, what do you what do you think looking at it from, from a different angle? Um, it's kind of weird, just how good we are basically just the depth we have like there's so many guys that let's say they're not starting that would start in so many other places like other schools so it's really good problem to have but yeah this team's just really good coaches love that kind of competition but it doesn't seem like it seems like it's positive right like it doesn't seem like it's going to be a negative issue as far as who plays where or when is that true yeah i think it's definitely true and all, like the fall and this early spring it's definitely just pushing each other it definitely pushed me just seeing all the arms we have and definitely wanted to push me to be better and get better what have you seen from uh, skeins your guy's gonna start tomorrow so. um he's lights out i mean he throws 100 and with three four pitches for strike so he's definitely just great <laughs> nothing else i can say than that just demeanor Oh yeah, he's definitely just locked in. He seems like that military type guy <laughs> coming from there and just great mentality. What secondary stuff do you feel confident in heading into heading into this first start? Um, basically all my pitches I've been working with it. So my uh, curve, slider, change up, I feel like I can throw any of those in any count. So I'm pretty confident with those. Has, has West leaned toward one pitch more or the other or, or does he sort of see that? You know, sort of evenness that you just sort of um, kind of evenness depending on the batter because lefties I throw a lot of sliders too, and I'm working on left on left changeup. So it really depends on the batter which pitches I throw. What's been like the difference working with West this year versus Jason last year? Um, West has just brought a lot more of the like technology side into it, and we've been like working on the TrackMan stuff and just the numbers. So really just being very specific on what I need to work on and knowing what to work on. This means you've had like a different pitching coach all three years of yeah. college. Yeah. What's that like? I mean, has that really, do you feel like that's shaped you in a way or changed you in a way? Um, yeah, definitely just hearing the different perspectives on pitching and um, I heard that's what it's like in pro ball, just switching with different pitching coaches. So I think that's preparing me good for that. And yeah, just getting, knowing different perspectives on pitching. How much have you embraced all that? sort of track man stuff and the force plate rounds and all that good stuff. Um, I like it, but I don't, it's not like I live and die with it. I just like knowing the information and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's just pitching and the feel for that. Okay, Tara, Salem Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Riley. Thanks, Thanks Riley.